Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're gonna start the vlog. What day is it? It's Wednesday and yeah, I've been super busy. And if you can see behind me, I've got construction happening. I bought some shelves. I'll show you when I put them up. They're gonna go on this wall over here. But first we're gonna make dinner. And I thought I would bring you along. I'm going to make some salmon patties. Now this is keto style salmon patties. So the only difference really is that these don't have um, crackers, flour, cornmeal, whatever you put in them. If the only binder I'm gonna have is some egg. So let me flip you around and I will show you how I make them. All right, here we go. I've got the pan heating up. Um, I have a can of salmon. I go through and pick out all the skin and the little bones because I don't, ooh, I don't like that. Um, so I have that, and then I have some spices. Um, I have onion powder, one tablespoon, cayenne pepper, uh, half a teaspoon, a tablespoon of Old Bay, and I have a tea tablespoon of garlic and herb. And that's it for in here. And that is everything right there. So that can go in. Um, as you saw, I whipped up an egg. I like to just whip it up ahead of time. And mesh that in. Now, like I said, if you make these non-keto, just add your cracker crumbs or whatever. I just don't. And then I'm just putting a little bit of mayonnaise in here. And then I did make another mayonnaise. It's in the fridge. It's mayonnaise with some garlic, um, some pepper, salt, some Old Bay. It's kind of mimicking the flavors that are in here. I might put some lemon juice in it just to give it a little acidity to go with these. Salmon patties. You could use the same recipe for crab cakes. All right, I'm going to give it literally just like a teaspoon more mayonnaise. Um, I make the, it's called aioli or the mayonnaise sauce ahead of time, stick it in the fridge. You could also do this, I'm assuming, with like tuna. If you're doing it with crab, I wouldn't go to town mixing it like that, but salmon, it doesn't seem to bother me. Now, I like mine all the same size. So I have a portioning scoop. This is really for cookies, but you can um, use it, it could be for ice cream, really it could be for anything, but this is a technically a cookie scoop. I think it's a three ounce, which really is perfect because that's the portion, you know, a serving size. Now, if I'm not having, I'll probably have two since I'm not having like a veg or anything, or I mean, I might have a veg, but probably not. Now, I don't have a whole, enough for a whole one. So, I'm gonna make a small one. There, that's it. And then I'm just gonna use this little one as a tester, but you really want to kind of pack it. And then I'm gonna put it in this oil. I need to turn the oil up a little bit. When that's cooked, I'm just gonna fry the rest of these in the pan. So I'm just kind of patting them down so they're the right size. And I have a good scoop. I'm not salt and peppering. I'm not doing anything like that. Oh, there was salt and pepper in that. I think a half a tablespoon of salt and some pepper. But I'm going to let these cook. And then we'll have dinner. Then we're going to hang shelves. Okay, this is the wall before I put the shelves up. Part of my goal is to kind of camouflage this foam thing. I know I can take it down, but ugh. Just not dealing with that right now. And it's a small wall, like here's my cabinetry and then over here's my fridge. So I just got some little shelves, but I will show you after I hang them up. All right, I got the shelves up. Now I did that one a little taller or lower because I wanna be able to put tall things on it. Nothing is decorated yet, but that's the spacing. So I figured up top, I could do like some greenery up there. Let's see on that little, where'd it go? That little shelf right there. Some greenery or floral. This one will have just regular decor. And then this one, the goal is to hide the, 
So yeah, so it's kind of hard to space them evenly, but I still wanted room for something tall on this bottom shelf. So I think that looks awesome. So I hung my shelves. I forgot to show you my salmon patties. Do not look delicious or what? They have a nice crust on them and there's no crackers or carbs at all. And they were delish. A teaspoon of red pepper flakes was a little much. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we can do. Happy Friday, everybody. We are doing something I don't typically do, especially since I'm not at work anymore. Well, I am, but I work from home. I'm making a dessert. I'm going to visit my cousins tomorrow. And my cousin, he, uh, love him, is making smoked brisket, I think. Yeah, smoked brisket. And I'm bringing the dessert. So what I'm making, it's got a not nice name. I mean, it's not a bad name, but it just says a word we're not going to say. But it's better than, you know what, cake. Um, so it calls for German chocolate, but I had a regular chocolate. So we're going to do that. I just mixed it sort of by the recipe. When I make a cake, I always add one extra egg. And in chocolate, I add like a teaspoon of instant coffee. It just helps with the flavor. So we're gonna just pour this in a pan and bake it as directed. Then when it comes out and it's still warm, and I'll show you when we get there, you pour a um, can of sweetened condensed milk over it and caramel, caramel, however you say it. I'm a caramel kind of girl most days, but you know, what else? Um, and then a jar of caramel, or you can make your own. I was going to, and then I said, girl, what are you doing? Just go buy it. Hands are clean, and it's family. So that's it. We're gonna bake this cake for the cousin. And, oh, and then you put it in the refrigerator for two hours, but I'm going to do it overnight. And then you top it with Cool Whip and chopped up Heath bars. Hello, what? I know. So we're going to put this in the oven. I don't know how long it needs to bake. I'll look at the box in a second. But it's a poke cake. So I'll show you when I'm going to do it when it comes out. Um, 13 by 9 inch pan. Bake time is about 30 to 38 minutes. So we're gonna, we're gonna say 30 minutes and check it then. So that's done. And the other thing I'm making, which I need to get the pan ready, this is for me. So I've been testing out, as y'all know, um, different Christmas cookie keto recipes and this is just my peanut butter recipe. One second. I've done this recipe hundreds of times, literally. It's a cup of natural peanut butter, some sweetener, and, um, Natural peanut butter, sweetener, and one egg. That's it. That's the whole ingredients for that. But I'm, I usually do cookies, but what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna put it in a pan and make a bar, and then I'm making ganache, which is heavy cream and chocolate. Now this is Lily's chocolate. There's no sugar in it. It's made with um, sweetener that I can have stevia. So I'm heating up the cream to do that. But right now what I need to do is uh, line this pan with the parchment paper. Wrong parchment paper. Let's try to use the one that's open, right? I'm, I will line this pan so that it'll be um, easier to come out, right? So we're gonna go this way. And if you measure it, like eyeball it good, this is perfect. If not, you're getting the scissors out. But like, I just say, okay, well that's good. And since I'm going both directions, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? So that's done. And this way I can just lift it out like that. I don't 
I don't think I want it to go both directions because I'm afraid it's going to get cut or caught in those folds. So I'm just going to quickly cut this. I need to get new kitchen scissors. These are no good. No bueno. There we go. A little more. Um, they're just ruined. So what I really need to do is invest in a decent pair. While I'm doing this, I want to tell you, I was at Dollar Tree, duh, and there we go. And then I'm spraying it with some cooking spray. Just to make sure everything comes out. But again, this is sitting in the fridge overnight as well. Now, I'm sorry, I went to the Dollar Tree. Oh, my, this Dollar Tree that I go to, it's not one I normally hit all the time. But I knew there was a Walmart near it. I needed ingredients, blah, blah. So I went down to this one. Can I please tell you that they don't even have all their fall and Halloween now, but they sure as heck have out Christmas. What? I mean, I bought some, don't get me wrong. I bought some Christmas because that's what you gotta do. Now I'm just patting this down flat and even as best you can, it's a bar, we've all made them. And this, there's no difference because this is a keto recipe. It's just so simple ingredients. You can make it with regular um, regular peanut butter, regular sugar. It's a peanut butter cookie recipe that is one egg, some sugar. I don't use the full amount, and one cup of peanut butter. And it's going to make me a whole bar. And then I'll take it out and cut it into individual bars, right? Because that's what you do. I can't put it in the oven yet because I have to wait. So what we're gonna do after I'm done with this is I'm getting ready to paint my mantle. I got my TV hung, I'm excited. So I wanna paint my mantle. Tomorrow I'm gonna have my niece's dog, Luna, over for a little visit um, while Sarah's off doing her things. So that's it. When the cake comes out of the oven, I will show you how we poke it and then pour the ingredients on. Okay, we're gonna make some ganache. And like I said, it's just chocolate and melted cream. I got my cream warmed up here. Oh, and we're gonna open this package of chocolate chips. You can really use any real chocolate. And you know what's real? If on the back, the ingredients have cocoa butter. So this is unsweetened cocoa, erythritol, and inulin. So this is real chocolate. And this is a seven ounce container. I've got about seven ounces of cream. So we'll see what we get here, guys. Just stirring up the middle or the hot cream. You really wanna use cream. Now I'm gonna pour it in here and let it sit for a minute or so. And, oh, this is the ingredients for the, for the uh, poke cake. We don't have that out of the oven yet but I wanna get this ganache ready. It's gonna go on this hot, when that comes out. Hi, Dubs. So already you can see it's starting to melt. Now we're just gonna stir it up and hope for the best. I've not tried making ganache with sugar-free chocolate before or diabetic chocolate or any kind of chocolate like this. I got coffee, guys. Um, so we're, we're all going on this route together. I mean, it's melting. Just, and if it doesn't melt all the way, we'll throw it back in the microwave. I didn't really boil, boil the cream. I just, you know, I made it pretty hot though, obviously. But we're just going to keep stirring it up. Keep on keeping. Um, the cream makes it decadent and rich and again if you're not using sugar-free stuff you can just use regular chocolate chips chop up a candy bar get like a dove bar cadbury um in this situation the best quality chocolate you can afford with the cream because this is it for ingredients unless you want to add like you know flavorings and stuff to it which you can totally do that as well but this is just where is my whisk this is just plain ganache. Um, and if you let it set up, you can make truffles out of this. 
I don't know the exact measurements. Um, I think a whisk will help better here. The exact measurements for truffles. There we go. This is melting up nice. And you see how shiny it is from the cream? Yeah. That just looks delicious. Now it will solidify at room temperature. If it gets too stiff for me to do what I want, which is pour it over this when it's cooked, um, then I'll just heat it up in the microwave. I'll leave it out here at room temperature, but that's it. I just made a ganache for you. I would say um, you want a recipe the first time, especially if you're gonna try to make truffles. If you're making truffles, you would then put this to room temperature or the fridge, let it solidify. You scoop it up, roll it into balls, and then you can roll it in powdered sugar, in cocoa, and anything like that. It's pretty thin, but it's also warm. So we will see what's gonna happen to this when the peanut butter comes out, but that's gonna go in the oven when the cake comes out. So we'll do that. Cake is done, although I will tell you, I think it's overdone. I don't know, this is large holes. That's too small of a hole. Eh. Okay, we're gonna go with the large holes. Maybe, that just looks really big. I should have been prepared, guys. But I was not. Let's see, do we have another? Well, maybe this one. A lot of my, unfortunately, spoons are not round. So we're going to go with the little one here. And then you're just poking holes in cake, literally. All the holes. Hmm. This is really cooked. I went with 30 minutes, but I think it needed way less than that. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I suppose. We're gonna be drowning it with sweet toppings, right? So then there's that. Then we have a can of sweetened condensed milk. I just buy the generic brand. This is Walmart brand. I'm just pouring it over it and you're gonna let it soak in. It's almost like a Trace Leches cake, but cheating because there's no trace leches in here. That's triple cream, it's a, um, I think from Mexico. Not 100% sure on that one. That's Hispanic, and, and however you look at it, it's Spanish. Okay, so that, my friends, was the sweetened condensed milk. Right, let's see if we can get some over here. And you just really want it to soak into the cake. Okay, so that happened, right? And what's next? Caramel, caramel, however, ooh, however you say it. Tomato, tomato. It's up to you. But we want, and I want it to go in the middle of the cake, but you know. Down in those holes, guys. In the holes. In the holes. But what I'm finding is it's all kind of flooding the X side, the outside, but that's okay. Now, that's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna let this sit here and cool, and then I'm gonna cover it, stick it in the fridge overnight. Tomorrow, we're gonna finish. My tomorrow. Peanut butter cake or peanut butter bars are in the oven. When they come out and cool a little bit, I'll put the chocolate on them. Did my phone die? My phone might be dying. Oh, gotta charge it. Peanut butter's done. Peanut butter cookie. And I had to heat up my ganache. 
because it got a little cool sitting on the counter but that's fine look at it you just whip it up and it goes right back to being shiny okay so what I'm gonna do is top this off with the chocolate put it in the fridge covered and tomorrow it'll be firm and it should be okay at room temperature but we'll see because I feel like it's fine it was although I do tend to keep my baked goods in the fridge because it's just me okay now if you want to get things into the corner you just kind of want to take your spatula maybe a bigger spatula probably would work but and you just kind of push it there we go now remember this is sugar-free chocolate but it seems to be working just like regular chocolate would. I did not have an issue with it setting up. Like I said, it started setting up and I had to um, heat it up a little bit. So next time I'll wait a little longer to make it until it probably comes out of the oven. But that's it. These are my Buckeye bars. Now I'll put everything in the sink. This will go in the refrigerator. I will cover it. And yeah, we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Okay guys, here we are. We're painting the mantle. I am loving this blue. I'm gonna do my doors too. <laughs> okay, second coat. Next step in the home improvement, the French door. Now, it looks a little bright over here. That door will also get painted. It's drying, so the hardware is not on it yet. And I have a big rug coming. But I'm loving not having a beige door. Just going to say it. I'm loving it. All right, I got errands to run. Here is the cake. It has been in the refrigerator overnight. Seems pretty moist, so that's good. We're going to say moist. And then I took that big old Heath bar and I chopped it up. So we're going to sprinkle that on top. But first we have Cool Whip. I didn't know what size tub. So I got a big one. And what I'll do is whatever I don't eat of this, I will take to my cousins. And they will, you know, whatever I don't use on the cake, they'll eat it. The kids will eat it. Um, or that people can put it extra if I need it. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, I don't want way too much on here. But, yeah, I probably could have gotten away with a smaller tub of this. But, you know what? We're okay with that. I'll put it on here kind of thick. And then back here, I have a little mini crock pot you're not gonna see it I'll show you full of queso so I made some keto queso I've been on the hunt for a clean cake keys oh Lori try English a clean keto queso dip um, because like I don't eat Velveeta cheese it's just processed and I don't eat it nothing wrong with it I used to love it but it has, you know, undesirable ingredients for me. And so I was trying to find something and I found a recipe for it and you use from the deli. So you go to the deli and you get, um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to get all this on here and call it a day, right? You go to the deli and you ask for a pound of sliced American, not cheddar, American. Um, at my store, it was Lando Lakes, white cheddar. No, white American, not white cheddar. Um, and it's delicious. You know, it's a nice softer cheese. It melts better than cheddar, I guess, is the point to the whole shebang. Hey, guys, look at what we have. Now, if you have a pan without a lid and you're traveling with this, I wouldn't recommend putting that much Cool Whip. However, I'm have a lid for this pan. So, this is one of those, it's an extra large Heath Bar Crunch, or you can get, the recipe said just 
four Heath Bar crunches, but I went with the extra large one and it's working fine. Actually, any thing will work fine. We're gonna have a lot of Heath Bar crunch. And then remember, it was chocolate cake, a can of sweetened condensed milk. Well, you poke holes. So bake your chocolate cake by the recipe. You poke some holes. You put a can of sweetened condensed milk in a jar. It was a 12 ounce jar that I used of caramel that I got in the ice cream section. There. How about that, guys? How about that? So I grabbed a can, and I just got the Kroger brand of the ice cream topping caramel. Caramel caramel. I'm a caramel eater. Now, this goes right on top. Here's what's fun. I got this at the Dollar Tree. So it's not great, but I'm gonna take some packing tape maybe, or put this in a box. Right now, I have, it's very heavy. I have it sitting on a cutting board so I can maneuver it around in and out of the refrigerator and it's going back in the refrigerator right now. So I did that. And then it was one double-sized tub. Here, let's go this way. One double-sized tub of um, cool it, the big one. Okay, now back to my keto queso here. So I bought one pound of American cheese from the deli, sliced. You can just ask them for a pound chunk. Probably the next time I'll be like, can you just cut it in a pound chunk? You don't need to slice it. But, and then you cut it up in cubes when you get home. This way I just do the slices in. And then I put a half a cup of cream in it. Heavy cream, now I'm assuming you can use other dairy. And then a can of Rotel, sauce and all, juices and all. And then I put a teaspoon of taco seasoning, but I wanna put a little more in there because I feel like it needs a little more taco seasoning. And that's it. This is very low carb, delicious. I brought pork rinds for me to eat with it. And then I brought corn chips for my family. And then I put it in the fridge last night and now I just have it in this crock pot and it's on low. There, that's better. A little more spice to it. And the crock pot is on low, heating up. And when it melts, we have queso dip. So I'm bringing this as well. I like it that it's make ahead. You can make it a day or two ahead, put it in your fridge. You can even make it, store it in your crock pot container. Although, I don't know that's a good idea to put a hot, a cold crock pot in its base. So now we have it in this little, this is just a little cheapy Toastmaster. Now one pound only filled this halfway. So it can be kind of expensive to make this queso. Uh, was $5.98 at Walmart for the pound of cheese. So $6, it's a lot of queso. I mean, it's enough. You can have meat to this. Uh, shrimp to it. You can add sausage to it. Eat it. Plant. I'm leaving it vegetarian because my cousin's a vegetarian. So yeah, taking that and I'm taking that big old cake and then I made myself, oh I'll show you how I cut it up. I don't know if I showed it when it came out. Um, I will do this recipe again for Christmas but I need to come up with a better, I didn't like the way the peanut butter this peanut butter ended up being a little crumbly, but the top and it's too much chocolate. I mean, it's not too much for me, but it's too thick. So what I can either do is make a double batch so the chocolate layer is a little thinner or use half the amount. But yeah, it turned out like that. The only thing is the peanut butter cookie's a little crumbly. So I know that my Costco brand peanut butter isn't as crumbly. So I'll go back to that when I make it at Christmas time. And so I'm taking that for me with my little sugar-free treat, pork rinds and this, and then this for the everybody with corn chips. And the rest of them can have cake. Let them eat cake. All right, that is everything. Let's get into something else. It's a warm one today. Actually, it's not overly bad. But we are headed out.
I have all the treats made. I've got my dip. I have the cake. I've got my treat. I've had a shower. Now I'm sweating. It's 81, by the way. Sun is out. I want to stop at the Dollar Tree on my way to my cousin's house. And the one thing I forgot about this one crock pot, it doesn't have like a lock on lid. It's not good for travel. I am reusing a Starbucks cup. I do that all the time, guys. I reuse them. So that has some iced coffee in it to take to my cousins. And then I'll, well, they're coffee drinkers too. So I'll probably have hot coffee there. Who knows? See if it cools off tonight. So I've got the garage door painted on the inside. I'm not going to paint the outside. Um, it's the garage. I'm not worried about that. Now, I have to do the front door, but I had Luna today. I think you saw her, little lamb choppy Luna Kins, my little niece's dog. She's a known runner, that girl. So, the thought of putting her, you know, having to corral her somewhere didn't appeal to me. Plus, she's at my house today because... She's been, Sarah works during the week, like we all do, and she didn't want to leave her home alone a whole nother day. So she brought her to me, and I hung out with her all day. So I didn't, even though I was painting and doing house stuff, she was hanging out with me. And I didn't think it would be fair to corral her somewhere while painting the door that would take a while to dry. Um, but I did go to Home Depot, and I got, oh, something these glasses or it's the mask look at my nose it's got a sore on it I think it's from the mask maybe pushing my glasses up higher I don't know anyway I went to Home Depot and I got a new front doorknob and lock combo mine for some time now has needed replaced like last winter thank goodness I have a punch code on my garage to get in the house because there were times, a couple of times I came home from work and I was not even able to open my front door. It gets jammed, especially in the winter. So I was like, girl, you've got to replace that before winter time. So I went and picked up, it's a doorknob lock combo. So a deadbolt and a doorknob. Picked that up because I didn't want to paint the door until I had that. So maybe, I don't know. I'm supposed to go to lunch with some friends tomorrow got a crafty video I need to get done and Monday I'll be gone pretty much all day I'm going to a friend's house we are going to she teaches a spinning class so we're, I'm gonna take a spinning class in the morning and then go back to her house she's gonna cook out we're gonna swim in the pool and just have a lovely day so that's Monday I don't know when I'll paint this door maybe next weekend the thing is it's not like I can do it one evening. I mean, I guess I could, but I like to give it several hours to dry and cure before I put the doorknob on and before I shut the door. So, we'll see. It'll get done. But the thing is, my mantle's now done. I can start decorating. I have to get some couple command hooks. I know I have them. Maybe they're in the basement. Maybe I should go in the basement and look. Um, I bought them on clearance a couple years ago and they're, they're command brand, but they have like, they're for Christmas lights is what they're for and to hold like cables and they will be perfect to have one on the back of my TV and, or on the wall and one down on my mantle. So I only have one white cord that comes down and honestly, I could paint that white cord the color of my walls and you would never know it was there. So, but I put enough stuff on my mantle that I'm fairly certain I can hide the white cord. I did not want to go about the routes of drilling. I was not about that life. So, I was going to wear a really pretty linen top tonight, but I'm just too warm. Hopefully, I find some more fun stuff at this Dollar Tree. Uh, I saw Bargain Bethany. Yes. And she picked up almost the exact same stuff that I did, except for she had found the black and white buffalo check, which I'm not sold on yet for, for fall. Um, 
because I just kind of did everything in navy blue, like my fireplace. But I did get, and I'm thinking I really want to incorporate more navy into my fall. So I, what's happening? Why are we honking? I don't know. Uh, more navy into my fall decor and less black and white. I've done black and white a couple years, so. But my regular kitchen decor is black and white check. Um, when I go back after the holidays. So she found a dish drying rack that was black and white check and I want it. Like I said, because my regular kitchen decor or has been black and white check, so we'll see. So I need to run there. I need to run into Target um, to pick up some stuff for tonight. Guys, I've got blue paint literally everywhere. And I had all over my shoulder. I don't know. All right, I need to drive. Bye. Okay, I went into the Dollar Tree. I did find the Buffalo check, but my store did not have the drying mats. And they had hardly any chargers left. They had a couple plates. I don't need all that. I just wanted the drying mats. Found a couple things I needed. I will show you my Dollar Tree haul, but I went in Target, Dollar Spot. I didn't find exactly what I'm looking for, but I did find one fun thing. It's a metal ring that you can make a wreath on or hang a macrame from it. So I think I'm gonna do a macrame from my wall in my living room maybe. It was $3, which is actually fantastic for one of these metal rings and it has a little leather um, hanger on it. And then you can build the macrame over it. So we're gonna try that or I'll make it a wreath, who knows. Now on one of my walls, I am hanging my cow picture, which you may have seen on a video, but if not, you'll see it. My cow picture in the center, and then I want to put two tobacco baskets that I have on either side, but I wanted something in the tobacco baskets, and I'm thinking this will fit. It may be a little small. I don't know, and I might stick some type of other greenery in with it, but these were only $3 as well. Um, I believe they're, it's a wreath. I don't know how big they are. Six inches, if I had to guess, I would say six inches. So I grabbed two, one for the center of each. I like to bring a little greenery in, but I'm not wanting a bunch of floral. And then I bought floral. But, um, OMG, can we look at these flowers? I just love the color, and these may end up in my bathroom or my kitchen, I'm not sure. Um, it's called Purple Eucalyptus Bundle, $3 for the whole bundle, which, I don't know, I just think the quality is a little better than the Dollar Tree. You get a, quite a few, you get three stems, but that would be really pretty, I think, in a bundle. So I got that. I'm in decorate my house mode. And then I picked up this item here. It's a sticker and it just says October 31. And it says there's two stickers. So we're going to open this and see. Maybe October's one and third. Oh, no, you get two. Oh, wow. And they're not bad. I think they would be really fun on a pumpkin. Or, um, so you get two of them for a dollar, which I think is fabulous. Or on a sign or something, you know. I know I keep saying I'm not a huge Halloween person and then I keep buying a bunch of stuff, but keep in mind, I have a pretty decent sized condo to decorate. And I don't really have, I have some stuff, but like, I like this type of thing. I just feel like that would be fun on something. So it comes with two. So I got that and that was it. That's all I got at the Target dollar spot. They had some fall stuff. I just don't need a lot of fall. Um, maybe for Thanksgiving, we'll see what they come out with. I'm not sure. Let's see if my watch is, how charged my poor little watch is. I always let it die. I should just charge it at night, but I get lazy and I forget. Let's see. Okay. It said zero, but it was at 20 something before. 
I don't know. That's weird. Am I not charging or did I kill it? It has one of these magnet thingies. Let's see if we can turn it on. Now, I know it had 23% before I left. Samsung Galaxy Active. And then we're going to head out to my cousin's house. Alright, you don't really care how charged my watch is, do you? No. Alright, I even brought some sugar-free barbecue sauce. We're making brisket. And by we, I mean my cousin smoking a brisket for me. So let's see where we're at battery charge wise because now I'm committed to telling you 27% we'll leave it on here um yeah okay that's wrong alrighty I thought I would end the video with some of my weekly prep now tomorrow I'm at, it's Sunday tomorrow I'm going to a friend's and I need to bring some stuff so I went and got been wanting these they're glass storage containers for storage they're all different sizes and I cut up meat and cheese all the time and put them in my fridge so I got three but I'm using this one tomorrow to bring some veg for dipping we're gonna go on a bike ride and then we're going to uh, go swimming in her pool. All right. So these are wonderful. I think this one was $7.99. And these were $4.99, I believe. And then because I have a lot of veg here, I'm going to put the rest in this plastic Tupperware. And I will cook it up this week. I think I'll do some type of stir fry maybe. I don't know we'll see and then um, or maybe a casserole or make some cheesy broccoli who knows I went to my farm stand and got um, a cucumber a bell pepper that's in here and an onion which I need to chop up so now I like to just have these containers in my fridge right because that needs to happen okay we're gonna take the rest of this meat with us salamis or not all of it well maybe all of it yeah take all this meat another container my black cap and then I thought I also purchased some already cut cheese slices because I thought that would be perfect it's already been cut up But what I want to do, I love parchment paper if you can't tell. But what I would like to do, just so they're not touching each other, I'll put the cheese in here. I didn't want to get more than one already separated um, container for me. And we just put we got meat and cheese right I feel like that's enough to bring it's just it's for anybody who wants to share it right I don't know if that's the right lid for this maybe nope they are all different sizes 
So this will go with me tomorrow. I'll put this away in the fridge. And then I need to get a little container. I got some tzatziki to take with us. So hold on one second. And sorry for the noise of the vacuum. All right, I'm going to stick them in my cooler bag over here. Maybe. Yeah, we will. Stick them in here. I'll put an ice pack probably in there with it. But I grabbed a mason jar. And I got some tzatziki. And this is the tzatziki with parm. Oh, I love this stuff. But I don't think we'll eat it all. And heck, I might even be the only one that likes it. So. I will just. So I feel like and this is Parmesan spinach tzatziki. And I feel like that's enough. Mmm. got that in here. I'll put some other snack in here. And that's what I'm taking tomorrow. And I need to go get a drink. And that's it. All right. I think we're done for the day. I need to film a couple videos, do some editing, and then I'm going for a bike ride tomorrow. I'm super excited. All right, everybody, you have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.